This is a HeadGum video. the racist janitor that Don Oregon hired after he took this company public. That guy was a freaking genius. He was a brilliant businessman, evil or not, and just everybody wound up really liking him in the end. But what the frick do I know? I'm just the racist janitor. I'm oh, sorry, did you say you were racist? Yeah, I did. And I also said I was a janitor. And I gave you a bunch of expository information about Don Oregon, but you chose to hop on the racist thing. Yeah, I just thought it was a weird thing to lead off with. What are you, some kind of an immigrant? Uh, because I believe all immigrants belong in this country, no matter what their ethnicity or skin color is, you know? We're all equal in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Or, or, or any deity you believe in or don't believe in. Atheists too, you know. See, that doesn't seem very racist at all to me. What are you trying to judge me, buddy? I may be a racist, but I would never be characterized as presumptuous. Look at this freaking SJW. Pops out of a box. Starts making aspersions on my character. God, listen to me for one second. Don Oregon has taken headgum public and is retiring. Retiring? How long was in that box? Oh, a very long time. I mean, not as long as, say, a minorities have been oppressed by the militarized nanny state essentially criminalizing poverty, but longer than Colin Kaepernick has been without an NFL contract. Point is too long, in my opinion. You see, I, that just doesn't sound very racist to me. Listen, you don't know me, and you don't want to know me. As a side character offering up a lot of hot takes and a lot of expository information, one last thing to tell you. Get down to Don Oregon's retirement party, which is happening now, and try and save some face. All right, I'm gonna go, and you've been very helpful, but look, don't be offended. I just wanna tell you, you actually seem pretty woke. Yeah, that's what a white asshole would say. Just Nick? Hey, how was your vacation? Vacation? You, you thought I was on vacation? I was kidnapped! By Don Oregon, he put me in a box! Whoa! No, he means creatively, like a metaphor. That too, but no, I mean literally. He literally put me in a box! Marika, you figured it out! Shh! Keep it down. This is a going away party. We're all gonna jump out and surprise Don. Or maybe he's already here. Surprise! Damn it, Nick! You ruined the surprise! Fuck you, Nick! You fucking piece of shit! Whoa, whoa, let's all take it easy on Nick? <laughs> he is, after all, going to be the next office manager. Hey. No, 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 no! And why did you say next office manager like it was some kind of promotion? That's what I was before you kidnapped me! Hey, Nick, here at the new headgum, you don't use words like promotion or kidnap. I'm sorry. Who are you? What? Come on. Come um, on. I'm Alex. I'm the CFO. I sign your checks. Don, why do you have to go? You're the best <laughs> boss any of us could have hoped for. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, Don, we got you a little something. <laughs> it's a movement watch. You see, movement was founded by a couple of guys who decided great style shouldn't have to break the bank. Huh. D no, that is a great watch, but why are you giving it to him? He's a psychopath! He lit Tim on fire! Who? Tim! I your comedic foil! The Abbot to your Costello! The, the Jake to your Amir! Or the Amir to your Jake! The, the, the complete guy to everything! Your podcast! 
The what now? He's gaslit you all. You're all just deluded in his evil fairy tale. Change can be difficult. I remember when I was an entomologist, we had this saying. <laughs> Said it every day, in fact. Does the caterpillar fear the cocoon? It does not. It is all merely a process. So true. He was never an entomologist. He's just lying. He's making up stories. Well, that's what he does. Remember when he said he was a chef? Well, he's not a chef. He said he was a writer. He said he was an acupuncturist. He told me he was a shepherd in the Caucasus Mountains. He just makes up stories to manipulate us. And no one holds him accountable. This man is a cartoon with only a superficial understanding of, like, how any business works. He's void of any motivation beyond the maniacal joy that he seems to get from creating fear and chaos. But Nick, you hired him. Yeah, you had all these choices, but you chose him. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm a coward. What do you want me to say? I'm a fearful little twit. You know how when you're young, you, you think every story's about you? You're somehow the hero? I guess I think when things go bad, it's fine because I'm the hero. Things are gonna work out. Only things aren't gonna work out because there's too many of us. We, we can't all be the hero. This is a uh, documentary. It's, uh, you can't be neutral on a moving train. It's about Howard Zinn. I didn't see it. But that metaphor. We all think we're the train going confidently in the direction of progress. We're not the train. It's the cargo. Guys like this that are driving. Uh, what the actual fuck? <laughs> Sad. Yeah, this speech is depressing. Nick's right. Maybe I am not real. A cartoon. A metaphoric villain. A plot device only here to launch a larger story. You got me! <laughs> You're too late, though. The changes that I've made to this company will take years to repeal. In fact, some of them are irrevocable. But why? Why, Don? Why, Don? Why? You know what I like about your generation? You love stories. You think you want the truth, but the truth is you just want a more charismatic liar. It's the reason why no one's really surprised when the bad guy wins. I think it's why you're also gal dang nostalgic. To live in the past, to die in the present.